Okay, so in this video, we're going to start looking at De Morgan's theorem. Now, De Morgan's theorem is quite useful, uh, particularly when we start to uh, simplify expressions uh, in uh, Boolean algebra. Okay, but um, it's also useful to note that when we're simplifying expressions, that we it's easy to come uh, to 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 assume that not. Uh, a and b and the, the 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 nand here it would be would split to not a and not b um and here um we're going to uh, just show that in fact uh, the 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 simplification of not a and b so that nand splits simplifies as not a or not b. Okay, now these are important to remember, as I say, when you're simplifying expressions, Boolean expressions in Boolean algebra. Um, it enables us to split uh, if we see uh, a, a, an and not a and b. Um, we can split it, and as long as we remember De Morgan's theorem, we can we remember to split it as not a or not b. Or we can join them together, we essentially doing the reverse. Okay, so this is why De Morgan's theorem is uh, extremely useful when simplifying Boolean expressions and therefore logic circuits. Okay, so we're going to look at, uh, in this first part of this video, um, because I don't want this to be too long, the, the NAND gate. So here we have a... Uh, NAND gate, uh, not A and B equals Y. And we are going to prove by looking at the truth tables that this separate, separates out to not A or not B, which is this circuit here. Okay. And as I said, we, we, we do this using truth tables. Okay. So this is a simple two input truth table. So we've got input A and input B. And we just go through the possible combinations of those two inputs. Okay, that covers all of them. Now, to take this through step by step, we're going to look at and A and B, so A and B, and then our Y value will be that inverted or knotted. Okay, so A and B, we're going to get zero because if to for A and B to be positive or one, a and B have to be positive. So our results would be 0, 0, 1. The only one providing a positive output was when A and B are both positive. And to get our Y value here, we have to invert this A and B result. So 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, and that completes the truth table for that first circuit here. Okay, and according to De Morgan's theorem, that is equal to not A or not B. And just to prove this, we're going to write out the truth table for this expression as well. So again, I'm going to A, B, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 1, 1. Okay, and this time we're going to have not A. So we're simply going to invert the A signals. So 1, 1, 0, 0. And we're going to invert B, which will be 1, 0, 1, 0. And our Y value is not A or not B. So if... A, both A and B, well, if we're oring those, if either or the other is positive, then we get a positive output. Not A is positive, so we get a positive output. Not B is positive, so we get a positive output. And in the final instance, not A and not B, neither of them is positive, therefore we get a zero. Okay, so just tidy that up. And as we can see, our output 
for both of those small logic circuits is exactly the same. Therefore, agreeing with De Morgan's theorem that not A and B or NAND B is equal to not A or not B. Now, in the next video, we'll look at the uh, other possibility, which is nor A and B, and see how that splits the other way uh, into not A and not B. Okay, I hope this has been useful.